I finally got around to burning those New Age books. And um, I burned mostly all the ones that I was shown in the the in my box before. Less for one, which is my favorite one, and I'm just gonna I need to take my time about I just I need I don't know. I, I have it's a great book. It's the book that's about the mole and how she talked to the mole spirit and they didn't have to kill the moles and the moles left by themselves. It was a beautiful book and it's just such a loving book before the author kind of went and did her other thing with the um, people higher up in, in the in the ladder of society before she got involved in this other stuff. Anyway, but that book was really beautiful and I'm still having, giving myself some more time with that one. Okay, so I wanna talk about um, today, which was really inspiring. Um, I have been wanting to get a Bible and in fact, I had accidentally gone to, well, it was an accident, but I, w I went to this, a, a gathering where they prayed over people and it was kind of an alcoholic anonymous and they had coincidentally a book drive and what was left from the book drive were these boxes of books that they couldn't get rid of and they wanted to donate the rest. And so just so happened that when I was there, they said, why don't you go take a look at that bin for a Bible? Because the Bible they offered me, my Holy Spirit said, no, don't take the one they offered me because actually they probably needed it and they were short on Bibles themselves. I mean, that particular one where everyone was reading the same one, you know. So I went to the bin and this is what I found was this, this one right here. It is this Revised Standard Version, American Bible Study. And it's, it is a beautiful Bible. It's just really, really old. And you can see how, how old that is. And look at this. It's like coming apart. Um, but I actually didn't mind it because... Um, you know, that was the one that I was led to. And look at these pages. And for some reason, um, this Bible is fragrant. There's something that they did, I'm not sure what they did to these pages. And I originally thought that maybe the person who had owned it was like a heavy perfume wearer. I thought that perhaps um, this person was thumping through the pages and um, left her scent in these pages by accident because of, because this, this is quite worn out. I mean, you can see this, that she really went, this person really went through it, you know. And um, so I thought that perhaps um, she had, she was, had heavy perfume and I realized when I sniffed through actually all the pages of these, these really thin pages and they're so crispy you know and when I sniffed through it because it smells so good I realized that, that it was coming from the wood itself the paper itself smelled beautiful like kind of like those Chinese red envelopes and these have this perfume scent. Well, this book had that scent. And um, so I really liked it. But the fact is, it, it is coming apart. And so I was thinking like, maybe I, I wanted to get a newer book. And um, I spoke with some people and a nice lady from church told me that I can actually go to the second-hand bookstore, which was where she got hers, 
and she had a pink Bible and it had huge letterings on it like great for reading because it's probably like twice the size of what mine was and um, so I actually went to the place over the weekend I went to look for that bookstore and for some reason it's such a simple street but I couldn't find that bookstore it just for some reason it didn't appear I she told me where it was it was an easy place to find but I just didn't see, see the bookstore so I thought, okay, well, I'll go back next week. So what happened today was I had an amazing surprise. I was, I was going to church. This is my third time at a local church. And, um, and a wonderful couple from this church had given me a wonderful surprise. I never would have expected it. We had Bible study the uh, week before, and I guess they, you know, the, the, the husband had realized that I was trying to, I was asking questions about Bibles and, and you know, the, why are they so different? Some have read, see the red lining, some have like red cover on the outside, and some have uh, gold and you know they have different meaning I'm sure there's people who actually know a little bit deeper about the meaning of the colors but today I was gifted this new brand new Bible and and he had said that on the night wherein he bought this online, or the husband of this wonderful couple bought this online, he was, he was led by the Holy Spirit to, he thought about the fact that I needed a Bible, and then he was led by the Holy Spirit to look for this online for me, and oh my gosh, you know what? I cannot ask for a better, I cannot ask for a better Bible.